A call for more manufacturing jobs in Minnesota has education leaders pushing students more towards vocational training. This is a move away from the traditional four-year degree program, and some Anoka Hennepin students are taking their first step towards a technical career with the help of the Secondary Technical Education Program, also known as STEP. CTN Steve Antis has more on how young women are finding their way into career options traditionally followed by men. We want to see sparks the whole time. Last fall, high school senior Suzanne Lindbergh took her first welding class. My sister was in it before. She, she took the first class when she was at STEP, so that kind of got me into it. Her newfound skills lit a fire in her belly in that first class, and she was hooked. Seeing that you can do stuff that you never thought you'd be able to, and just seeing that you get better and better every day. There are five female students currently enrolled in the STEP welding program, the most ever at one time. Together they make up 20% of the students in Bob Sands class where they're learning how to read blueprints. They kind of take all of, all of the skills that they've learned up to this point and then they apply them to just small drawings that we've come up with. Two years ago, Senator Al Franken visited the STEP program to find out what District 11 was doing to prepare students for the future. Lawmakers have recognized a fundamental shift in classes like manufacturing and machine technologies to train qualified workers. This is a very, very high demand industry right now. According to STEPS director Jessica Lipa, they offer classes in seven of the top technical job areas in the state. What we do and how we teach is never about what we want to or what we think is necessary. It's all about meeting the needs of our workforce. And that workforce will be met by more women, like Anoka Technical College welding student Rachel Volkmuth, who came up through the STEP program. I think it's a field where you can move around if you get tired of one process, which I personally really like that. And when sparks fly, passions can soar. It's not bad. It's been a big year for the STEP school. They have had nine females take classes in welding. Usually that number stands around one, so this could be a new trend. Steve and Karen. All right, thank you, Steve.